Hey everyone, and welcome to your Starseed Oracle reading with me, Chrissy Vane. Um, this is for the first week of September. So I just want to ask you guys, and you guys can leave in the comments below, did you guys feel the shift in the energy between last week and this week? Um, last week, the energy was very tense. This is the last week of August. Um, the energy was very tense, very emotional, very even kind of dramatic. Um, and then all of a sudden we get closer to September and we go into our Virgo energy, which is grounded earth. Um, and the energy just lifted. It started to feel like I know for me personally, I started to feel like, oh, my next step is this. Uh, my next action is this. My next interview is this. So I really started to feel um, that Virgo energy and that connecting with the earth again and being grounded. And Virgos are also little worker bees. So I was like, I'm ready to work. I'm going to do a few work things. So um, I reached out to a couple of different agencies um, for myself. I auditioned for a uh, spokesmodel position, host position for a car um, company and I just was feeling I've been feeling very motivated very much like let's go harvest season um, so I wanted to share that energy with you guys like send it send it send it and um, let me know in the comments how you guys are feeling so let's see what the oracle cards say. I like to do our little oracle card readings once a week. I even made like a new little graphic because this is going to become separate from the Connected with Chrissy shows because that's the interview shows that I do. That's why I share space with other um, spiritual conscious creators and that's amazing. But I also like to do the channeled messages and the Starseed Oracle um, and messages for you guys, like as far as that goes. I think that those are really helpful, especially if you're not somebody who has a person that does readings for you, if you don't know how to do readings yourself. Um, and it's just really helpful to listen to and see what the messages from Spirit are this week. So this is the collective message for the first week of September. I, again, use my Starseed Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. You can find this in my Amazon faves. I just love this deck and feel so deeply connected to it. Um, so let's see what they have to say. Three times. I use this deck almost every day for myself. And again, these are weekly readings. This is like the energy of the week. I don't go too far ahead. And even when I'm working with like regular clients, um, you know, over the internet or in person, I don't do my readings too far out, too far in advance because I don't, I like to be very pragmatic in goals and like doing little things at a time to get to our big steps. So let's see what the cards have to say for today. And something just told me to pull four cards. So we just pulled four cards from that deck. And let's spread them out, take a look. Oh, I love this. Blue flame, spontaneous awakening. How many of you are feeling like that right now? Just an activation, something's come alive. Something is speaking to you. Blue is the energy of activation of the throat chakra. It's time to get out. It's time to speak your truth. It's time to live in your truth. So many of us light workers, specifically right now, have gotten the call to activate something within ourselves. I have met so many people over the last few weeks that are like, oh, I started this. Oh, I started this. Oh, I'm, I did this. I'm going to be doing this. There are, we are being activated right now in ways that we don't even know. But if you listen to these activations, if you listen to that call within your soul, you'll be taken to places beyond your wildest dreams and beyond your most insane ideas for your life that you could ever imagine. But you have to listen and you have to take action. Discipline and spirituality is really good. Um, a lot of the spiritual people that I know have a hard time with like their fire fiery energy and getting things going. So 
if you are, you know, an intuitive or a healer or a makeup artist or a hairdresser or a firefighter or whatever it may be, like you are feeling right now the blue flame of activation, something within you is calling you home. So it's really, really, really important that you use the discipline that you have within you to walk that path because we're talking destiny portal here. We're talking destiny path. Now is the time you are being called. So listen to that and go shoot forward. Use that fiery energy of the blue flame and start walking on your path and walking on that destiny. Ah, breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. So obviously you're trying to control micromanaging managers are the fucking worst managers. They're so shitty and they don't, a true leaders lead by example. They don't lead by micromanaging their life or trying to micromanage the universe. Micromanaging your shit isn't going to get you anywhere because guess what? I've talked about in a lot of my videos, um, not my will versus thy will, but divine manifestation versus will manifestation. Will manifestation, can we do that with our own personal power? Yeah, you can, but that's not divine manifestation. And you could be messing with your karma or messing with somebody else's karma. And God's spirit universe may have something better for you than, like I just said, than you could ever imagine for yourself. But if you're trying to micromanage the shit, out of everything, then you don't leave open the divine portals and the divine coming into you through that crown chakra and like helping you walk your path. So let go of control, let go of the need to hold on to things. Some things in life right now may be falling away and that's okay, it's supposed to. Things are changing very rapidly right now. If it stayed the same, if it stayed the same, it would be stagnant. Stagnation no one ever grows from. So turn my will into thy will. Allow those universal downloads. I just had a guest on the show. Has, she has the same prayer every morning as I do. Use me how you need to use me. Like God, spirit, universe, put me where you want me to be. Give me the downloads to walk in the path that I'm supposed to walk and let me be that. But through you, through you. So let go of some of your control. Learn to breathe into it. If you're feeling nervous and you're feeling that anxiety and you're feeling like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Go breathe. Go take a nap. Go rest. You got to rest to manifest. But again, when it's time to move, use that discipline and walk and, and get on the divine path. Walk to her. Walk to that. Yeah, it's breathing life into the universe and the universe breathing life into you. Do you know what you can take in? Like if you breathe in God, if you breathe in spirit, if you breathe in universe, do you know what you can take in and then put out to the world if you harness that energy? You can't mess with God energy. It's too powerful. Like you're unfuckwithable. You know what I'm saying? So like stop trying to control, stop trying to make things be your way. This is not the world we live in. Like you are working, you came here as a, soul, as a soul that came here with a contract that has a divine purpose. And it's not gonna be like your little human way, it's gonna be the divine way. So let go of the need to control, let go, breathe, go have a little fun and allow the universe to show you your path. The goal. <laughs> I didn't even see this card before, but we just talked about going and having fun. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Right now, we are being asked to heal our inner child. That broken, 
five-year-old, 10-year-old, two-year-old that was told that their actions were not correct so they, you know, got spanked or that they couldn't have that wild and out energy, um, that they were too much or too little or too whatever. Your inner child knows exactly who you are. Do you know that I can remember being five years old and in my mind thinking to myself, I'm either gonna be in Florida or California where the TV people are at five years old. So through the years, that's gotten muddled and mucked. I've had levels of success in that, but it's gotten muddled and mucked in certain kind of ways because of conditioning. So the last six months, I've been, I talk about the ancestors a lot in my videos. So my ancestors have been over here and they're speaking to me and they're pushing and they're guiding and they're saying, you are the one, you are the one to heal this. You are the one to stop these generational cycles, these generational traumas. You are the one. So there are many of us right now. I am one of a collective. There are many of us right now who are the one. And you are all that in a bag of chips. And you are just as beautiful as people tell you you are. And you are just as powerful as God's spirit universe themselves because you are made in their likeness and their image. So the belittlings and the, the you know, you're not enough of, you are more than enough because you are God, spirit, universe incarnated in a vessel in a beautiful vessel that came to this beautiful earth space to create. You are a creator. You are a divine creator. And you will create your divine, your divinity. You will create that by getting back in touch with that inner child and that brokenness and going in there and putting that those pieces back together and allowing it from the past allowing those demons from the past to come up and transmute because they don't need to be there anymore you are the one and i want you to take yourself out of victimization because i know there are a lot of you out there right now that are still feeling like you were a victim and you fucking were you were a fucking victim, but guess what? You're now the healer and you're going to heal thyself and you're going to heal many, many, many others in this journey if you can just figure out how to put together the pieces of yourself. So I want you to take yourself out of victimization just like I'm taking myself out of victimization. And I want you to have fun with that inner child. Like I've been having fun with my inner Chrissy and um, I started wrestling again because that's super fun. And I started modeling again because that's super fun. And I go swimming with my little boy who's also helping me heal my inner child every day because that's fun. And sometimes we go to Taco Bell because that's fun. It's not that serious. This earthly realm is supposed to be a heaven for us. That's what we came here for. So find that inner baby that wasn't babied enough. Find that inner baby that wasn't hugged enough. Find that inner baby who can live in their joy and bring it to the forefront. Because that's where we want you to live right now. That's who we want you to be. The old paradigms, the bullshit masks, bullshit masks, they don't work. And it's okay to like love a vessel because I like love this vessel. I love painting the vessel. I love costuming the vessel. I love the vessel. So use that to your advantage and have fun with it, but don't obsess over it because you are not just this vessel, you are the divine spirit of God walking this planet. And I want you to own that. And I want you to know that you are that powerful. I was told my entire life, you're not all that in a bag of chips. Yes, I fucking am. Yes, I am. And shame, shame for you to try to dim my light as a, as a kid, as a five-year-old. So we're healing our inner children right now and they're going to rise up and they're all going to rise up together because there's so many of us right now living this truth. 
They're going to rise up together and we're going to create the most amazing things you've ever seen in your life. Okay, the last card. Jump in, babies. Because after you've done all this healing, after you stop trying to control, after you reconnect with your God spirit universe that lives within you, we're jumping in and we're starting something fresh and we're starting something new and we're starting what's been living in our soul for so many years that we can't even like, we can't even explain it because it's been there deep, deep, deep down buried, but you weren't healed enough to bring it forth. Bring it out, babies. It's time. You got to heal that inner baby so that you can bring to life that big, grown human in this vessel that is so powerful that can create anything that they want if they're willing to do the work and jump in. So you have to do the work and jump in. You have to have fun. Have fun. Go swimming. Go jumping. Paint your face. Put on an amazing outfit. Whatever it is to you that is fun. Start wrestling again at 38 years old. That's what I did. Because it's super fucking fun. I'm not letting anybody put labels on me anymore. I'm also going to be my intuitive, my uh, angelic, my ethereal, my empath, my highly sensitive self. And I'm going to bring that to you because I'm going to show you through me that you can live, be, do, have anything it is that you want. And we are creating constantly. So why not fucking create something awesome? So jump in. If you're thinking about taking that step, if you're thinking about making that move, do it. One little action step will trickle and lead to amazing things. Then when you see the first amazing thing, you're gonna say, oh, oh my God, holy shit. Like, wow, like how do I get to the next? You take another baby step and then it's gonna trickle. And then it's gonna be, this leads to this, leads to this. And then six months you're going, how did my life become this? Six months ago I was miserable. Six months ago I was depressed. Six months ago I was sick but I changed something within myself. And then once I, felt, once I felt that spirit rise in me, I felt that spirit rise from the depths, from the depths of my soul way, way, way down here, I was ready to rise and I was ready to jump in. And I also realized that I didn't do it by myself. I got helpers along the way. When you're stepping in spirit, those helpers come out of places that you could never imagine. So, I wish you guys an abundant force of blue fire energy this week to awaken that inner child, to heal and to transmute what no longer serves our purpose. I speak into you letting go of the past and taking yourself out of victimization because it does you no justice. You are a powerful being who deserves to have it all. And I send to you a jump because you're ready. You just had to transmute a little bit of, of shadows, a little bit of things that are no longer serving your purpose. You just have to step into a little bit of bravery. And you're going to do things beyond your wildest dreams. So I hope you guys liked this Starseed Oracle. If you want to do a private session with me, you can reach out um, through chrissyvane.com. I'll link it below or my Instagram, magical.chrissy. And uh, please like, please share, please subscribe because all that matters because I'm sitting here with you. I'm building my dreams too taking those action steps, using that little bit of fire energy right now with Virgo season coming in and I'm like making the moves. I'm right here with you. So you guys know where to find me. Like, subscribe, share, please get this message out. This is a new YouTube channel. I have big dreams though about it and I think that it's gonna 
you know, be a thing that's going to lead me to things beyond my wildest dreams. But it's because I've been, I'm being brave enough. I'm not comfortable doing this type of thing. It's hard for me. I always play characters. I never come on as Kristen or Chrissy. Like, it's easy to play a character. It's hard to get up and be authentic and be who you're supposed to be in front of the world. So I wish you lots of love, lots of light, lots of movement forward, lots of healing. And we'll see you next week on the Starseed Oracle.